History of Indian Textiles For a century during 1680 to 1780, Indian cloth was the most sought-after fabric in Europe, surging past even spices as the biggest export commodity. The English and Dutch imported a million pieces of cloth a year, and the French about 300,000. Before the British Raj, weavers as a community commanded considerable bargaining power with merchants. The East India Company passed laws that forbade weavers from buying raw material and enforced selling finished products only to the company. The Indian weaving industry was systematically dismantled. In 1834, the Governor General reported, the bones of hand weavers are bleaching the plains of India. The value of textile exports from India fell by 98% between 1800 and 1860 and the value of textile imports increased by 6300% in the same period. The Indian Textile Industry Today Textiles are the biggest employment generator in India after agriculture. While this is reflected in the GDP and export figures, it has not effectively led to bettering the lives of the farmers, the hand spinners and hand loom weavers. India is home to over 136 unique weaves and scores of hand dyeing and printing techniques. Of these, around 55 weaves are on the verge of extinction. Although India has a large share in world trade of cotton yarn, its trade in garments is only 4% of the world's total. Handloom contributes nearly 15% of cloth production in the country, and India accounts for 95% of the world's hand-woven fabrics. Although the share of handloom in textile production is small in terms of percentage and revenue at present, it provides employment to four. 4 million weaver families including women in rural areas. If the handmade textile market is expanded globally and nationally, it has the capacity to provide employment to millions more and become an active participant in the $900 billion global textile-slash-garment industry.